Hello and welcome back to another Rusty Mats video and welcome to my year 9 series. Now this is the year 9 series on number. We've been doing this for quite a while now and we've got quite a few videos on here and if you haven't seen any of it yet, click on the pop-up banner up there to go and have a look at those. Now in the year 9 series, we've also done quite a lot of work on algebra, which is also good for the 9 to 1 GCSE schedule. So please make sure you check that out as well, especially if you're in year 11 and you're studying for your exams right now. Anyway, in this particular video we're going to look at error intervals now this has a lot to do with bounds which I've done in my last video and if you haven't seen it you do have to watch it before you watch this video it's popping out on a pop-out banner right there so go and have a look at that anyway if you are new here then please make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload the channel's growing nicely and your contribution to it would be greatly appreciated anyway without further ado let's go find some error intervals I've got the number 15 here and it's been rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay. Now, because it's been rounded to the nearest whole number, I would want to know what the lower bound and the upper bound would be. So I'm going to call this my lower bound and I'm going to call up here my upper bound. Now, what I want to know is what's the smallest number I can have that would round up to 15 and the smallest number is 14.5 because if I go back to 14.4, even if it's 14.499999 to a million decimal places, it will still round down to 14. So once you hit 14.5, you round up to 15. And notice I'm using that word rounding quite a lot. That's important because the minute you round a number, the answer you get is an approximate answer. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Now, for 15 now, what is the highest number it can be um, that rounds down to 15? Well, it can be 15.49 recurring. So loads of nines going all the way along there. But because we don't write all of those nines, we just say, actually, you know what? round it to 15.5 but this 15.5 is just a barrier it just means that 15 can't go past that 15.5 otherwise you're rounding up to 16 so, and thereby comes our error interval so let me tell you a little bit about that any answer that I get from 14.5 to 15.4999 or 15.5 if you will, the minute I round it down or round it up to 15, I am actually introducing errors in my answers because I have rounded, I have actually gotten rid of very crucial decimal places there. Let's think about it this way. Let's just say you have uh, like somebody owes you 15 pounds 49 but instead they just say to you you know what could we forget that 49 pay i'm just going to give you 15 pounds you're going to feel a bit cheated because you've been robbed 49 pence that's what rounding does it robs you of valuable digits that are in your number but we tend to use it to make life a little bit simpler so what is my error interval and how do I write it? So let's call my 15x. We do like using a little bit of algebra here. The error interval of that 15 is going to be greater than or equal to 14.5. And if you don't know how to read this, check out my uh, video on the introduction of inequalities. And then you're going to see how to read one of these. It should be popping out in a pop-out banner there. And remember how I said 15.5 is a barrier? That's because it will never equal to 15.5. Otherwise, it will round up to 16. So that's why I've just got it's less than 15.5. Not equal to, but this one has equal to. And that's how you do error intervals. And what does this error interval mean? Well, it means that you have an error or you are creating errors between 14.5 and 15.5. Anything you've rounded down to 15 there, all of these are valuable numbers you are missing out on. So to finish this video off, 
um, we are going to do a few questions and I'll do it in blue just to make sure I don't mix things up. So here's our first one, 25.2, um, rounded to the nearest one decimal place. Now, if you watch my last video on upper and lower bounds, then you should know what's going to happen now because I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. So we're going to have our 25.2. And to find the error interval, I must find the upper and lower bounds. Have to do it. Okay. Since it's been rounded to one decimal place, that's going to be 0 0.1. Half of that 0 0.1 is 0 0.05. And that's what I'm going to add and subtract from 25.2. So now I'm, I'm going to say that my upper bound is 25.25 and my lower bound is 25.15, which means that my error interval, and please make sure you are extremely careful when you write this, so 25.2 is going to be less than 25.25, but greater than or equal to 25.15. You must have the equal to there. You must not have the equal to here. Really, really important, okay? Again, feel free to pause the video if you want to have a go on your own, but I'm gonna move on to question two now and finish up this video. So I have got 600 kilograms there and it's been rounded to the net nearest 10 kilograms. So let's get my upper bound and my lower bound sorted out. So it's the nearest 10 kilograms. Half of that 10 kilograms is five kilograms. That's what I'm going to add, and that's what I'm going to subtract from there. Adding five kilograms would be 605 kilograms there for the upper bound, and 595 kilograms here, for the lower bound. And then that means that my error interval for 600 um, kilograms in this case will be less than 605, but greater than or equal to 595. And therein ends how we do upper, uh, sorry, error intervals. Now, before I finish off, I'm just going to say one thing. Now, Sometimes, rather than give you the question like this, your examiner might give you the question like this to say that x is actually equal to 25.2 rounded to the nearest one uh, decimal place. They might give you like that. And if they give it to you like that, the only difference in your answer here is that it will have an X in it. So don't be afraid if you see it like that. It just means that your answer will look like X is equal, X is greater than or equal to 25.15 and less than 25.25. And that's the only difference, okay? They may introduce a little bit of algebra in there, just like I have done up here. Anyway, I hope you've learned something new. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe below for more content like this. I'll see you on the next one.